Welcome to in 5 minutes. Now we will write a program to display digits in a given number in words. See the example is given over there. Suppose the input number was 436. Then you have to output the digits in that number in terms of words that is 436. We have just displayed the digits in terms of words. Now this kind of program we are done in case of switch case that is input a digit and display it in words. Now the logic for that was like this, we will first input a digit, let's say D and then write 10 switch case statements, it will be switch T, if D is 0, we will print 0 in words, if D equal to value 1, then we will print 1 in word, if D is equal to, we will print 2 in words and so on up to 9. So this is going to be almost 10 switch case statements and with switch and case everything will be combinedly around 20 lines of coding we have to do. Now in this case we are going to input a number it can be a two digit or three digit or four digit number and each digit you have to display in terms of words and that should be one after other. Now this kind of example uh, we have observed in case of electricity bills or mobile bills where the bill amount is printed in terms of words. Now this is an interesting program to write the given number in words. Now let's see what is the logic over here. Now since it's not a single digit, it's a complete number. So obviously we cannot write thousands of cases like this for 0, for 1, for 2, for 100, for 300, for 336, for 436. Now that is how we cannot continue. So in this case, we'll have to separate the digits of the given number and then each digit will display in terms of words. So the logic will be somewhat like this. We'll input a number, say you know, I'll just give an example. Suppose the number was 126. Then store the digits of the given number in integer array. So we'll apply the simple concept of mod and divide by 10 and put the digits in an array. For example, I'll apply mod by 10, I'll get 6. That 6 I'll store into 0th position in array. Then I'll divide by 10, I'll get 12. Then I'll take a mod by 10 of this number, 12, I'll get 2. Then I'll divide the number by 10, I'll get 1. Again, take a mod by 10 of this number 1, I'll get 1. And then I'll divide the number by 10 to get 0. So this is a kind of program that we've done for reversing a digit or Armstrong number. Now when the number is 0, we'll stop our logic of reversing the number. And then we'll read these digits in reverse order. We will read first 1, then 2, then 6. So we will read this 1 in D and apply this switch case over here. So that D is, since it is 1, it should print 1. Then we read next 2, that is D will be 2, so it will print me 2. And then this will read 6, which will be D will be 6, it will print me 6. So the output will be 1, 2, 6. So the logic is like this, we will input a number, say you know, then store the digits of the number in reverse order in the integer array by using that mod and divide by 10 concept and then read the array elements in reverse order. We will read in reverse order from last to first number and display each digit in terms of words using this switch case statement. Now let's see the entire program to understand this. First we will start with first we'll start with our normal hash include commands, then number, then D for digit, I and J for looping and then I'll use array of size 10 to hold the digits then we'll input the number. So I'll just write numbers over here or variables over here to understand. So in this case we have a number variable, then we have some i variable, some j variable which we'll be using towards the end. And then I got one array of size 10. I'm just drawing it partly. This is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So we'll input the number. Suppose the input number was 213. The output should be 213. Now first using this logic we will put the number in reverse order in the array. For that first we initialized i to 0. Then number is not 0. D will be number mod 10. So we will get digit D as 3. Then put that D into ith location that is 0th location. Then i plus plus occurs. i goes to next index. Number by 10, number reduces to 21. Again, number is not 0. D will be number mod 10, which will be 1. Then 1 will be stored in A of 1, because I is 1. Then again, I plus plus occurs, I becomes 2. Then number by 10, number reduces to 2. Number is not 0, we'll get digit as 
2 and then digit 2 will be stored in A2. So 2 will be stored in A2. Then again I plus plus occurs, I becomes 3 and number by 10 occurs, number becomes 0 and the loop will stop because conditions number should not be 0. So here we stored the numbers in reverse order that is 3, 1 and 2. Now we have to read this in reverse order. Now here I has stopped at 3. There is one step ahead of the last element stored in the array. 